Hey guys, how's it going? Now, for this video, we're doing the regular two-handed spin. Now, what the, what the two-handed spin is, is that it's, in a continu it's a continuous exchange when you're rotating between each hand. If you don't know what that is, see my one-handed spin video right there. Alright, so, two-handed spin is commonly, it's a very common trick, very popular, very cool from my perspective. <laughs> And all that. So, this is what it is. So, as you saw, it continuously kept going, kept going, kept going. All right. Now, when we start, how it goes is you're in the dip position. You dip, and and as you're pushing down. Again, again, as you start getting into, like, you got into the one-handed spin, same thing, as you come to the one-handed spin, alright, here, your right hand's going to come up the same area, like, where your left hand is, and it's going to keep pulling it around all the way and pushing it up for the other half of the clock, pretty much, I call it a clock, so, it has this from 6 to 12, this has 12 to six. So around, push. Your left hand is there to grab it in the same spot like where it's supposed to. Here. All right. So if you do, if you don't if you can't do it from the dip position going into the one-handed, um, what I recommend is is at first get, put the rifle like up here, uh, put it upside down with the muzzle facing out this way and have your hands and your thumbs in the same place where you saw it from earlier. Now, just start here and then you start rotating with your, with your right hand and as you start getting here, that's when you start pushing. that but what the most commonly mistake that people tend to make when they do the two-handed spin is that they hang on to it too long when they're switching between hands so what I mean by that is this as you saw right there what happens is as you're coming down when you hang on to it too long, when you hang on to it too long and it's rotating, you might twist it like this and you'll end up having it back here rather than here. Another one, you might drop it. That's another issue. Um, I think that could happen. But I'd say the most severe thing is you could injure your, injure your wrist. Oh yeah, because you're moving with your wrist, you hang on to it, that can actually twist your wrist and it might pull a tendon or it can be serious. So, my idea is have your hands the least amount of time on it. So, like, the sooner you get it off your hand, the easier it is, the faster you can do it, the more sharp it looks. Alright? So. There you have it. The more you practice, the better you do. And pretty soon, you'll be able to twist it and spin it 
as fast as like speed of light. Remember, don't be afraid. Spread your wings. That concludes my video, and thanks for watching.